Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. Today we're going to be doing an acrylic pour on a vase. And I'm using a bunch of really bright and fun colors. I want this to be a light piece, not a dark piece. All of these paints are pre-mixed pouring paints. They're Mixed Media Girl pouring paints. And we're gonna just create a beautiful two for one project. So I've got white, turquoise, gold, and then I'm going to use this deep inferno orange and also a little bit of razzle dazzle. And I like to layer my white in there so that it keeps the whole piece pretty light. I think this will be a fantastic contrast of colors. Okay, so I've got my cup here filled with paint. Just to explain my setup really quick. So I've got a vase here, it's sitting on top of a cup and then I'm putting it on top of the canvas. Make sure that you clean your vase ahead of time so that it doesn't have any dust, dirt, fingerprints. So I like to use 91% isopropyl alcohol, but you can also just use water. And this cup here is so that once it's done, you can move it off of the canvas and complete this painting. Now, there's not a specific way that you need to pour this, but I typically will pour in kind of a tree ring pattern so that all of the colors go on all sides of the vase. If you like a particular color set though, you can pour that a little bit more on one side or another to kind of control that color a little bit more. Totally up to you. Keep in mind, whatever you put in the cup first is what will come out last. So whatever colors you want absolutely on your vase, put those in your cup first. Otherwise, they're going to more or less just be on the canvas and not on the vase. Once you're done pouring, go ahead and let it sit for about two to five minutes until it pretty much stops dripping. So this has mostly stopped dripping. So I'm going to carefully grab the cup underneath it and I'm going to lift it up, go slowly, try not to drop it, move it off to the side. It's going to fill in in the middle. You can push it down if you wanna kind of speed that up. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and tilt it. So I like to kind of go towards the corners then back to the middle just to really maintain that design and pouring over the vase it gives it this gorgeous feathered design that you're really not going to get with another technique So at this stage, go ahead and let your projects dry. The vase, I like to seal with resin in a couple weeks. The canvas, you can leave as is, or you can seal it however you want with varnish, with resin, with a spray sealer, totally up to you. But this makes a fantastic two for one project. You can give them together as a gift set or keep them for yourself, totally up to you. Use any colors you want, have fun, and I'll see you in the next video.